nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. Nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma account for approximately 5% of the cases of Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, it commonly present with localized peripheral lymphadenopathy and generally follow an indolent clinical course with frequent late relapses and for nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma, the tumor is composed of two neoplastic lympho lymphocyte predominant, uh, so LP cell, which are the Riesenberg cell variant. They are also known as the popcorn cell, and they usually uh, have a background of non-neoplastic small lymphocyte, histiocyte, and follicular dendritic cell, so which indicate that there might be a relationship to a B cell follicle. Um, here. In the next picture, we have a um, very nice contrast between classic Hodgkin lymphoma and nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. Over here on the left, you can see in the uh, A, where you see histological feature of classic Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, so it's composed of Hodgkin cell, which are the uni uninuclear, and Riesenberg cell, which are binucleated. Uh, cell with an abundant reactive bystander cell uh, that's a typical tumor microenvironment and a B, uh, figure B you can see the these are uh, Hodgkin Reese number cells are universally positive for C30 and if you look at C let us see um, you can see the Hodgkin Reese number cells are negative or, or weakly positive for CD20 and the main reason is that uh, in classic Hodgkin lymphoma, B cell program is uh, hijacked by the neo neoplastic cell and they are not intact as opposed to NLPPH, PHL. And letter E, you can see Hodgkin Reese cells are typically showing the signature staining of PAX5 in a weak staining. And Hodgkin Riesenberg cells are also highly associated with PDL1 expression, as shown in the uh, F. Um, on the other hand, if you look at the right side uh, in the figure eight, you can see that a majority of the nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma cases are characterized by these nodular growth pattern. And these, uh, if you look at letter uh, figure B, these nodules consist of abundant small reactive B lymphocyte, epithelial histiocyte, and intermingle with neoplastic cell. They are the LP cell, lymphocyte predominant cell. As you can see here, they are like uh, popping up in the picture, and they are nicely highlighted by CD20. Uh, and if you look at the letter C, over there, those LP cells are expressing CD20, uh, which show that this neoplasm is an have an intact B cell program and they are CD30 negative although rarely they can be positive in some LP cell and if you look at E which is very helpful uh, CD21 highlight the follicular cell meshwork within the nodule as the name imply in this neoplasm nodule lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma so they should be CD21 positive and if you look at letter F those LP cells are characterized by rosetting of the PDL1, sorry, PD1, uh, P1 positive T cell, and they show a nice rosetting pattern, which can also be seen with CD57, but PD1 is much better. And back to immunophenotyping of nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. In letter A, you can see the CD20 highlighting numerous classic lymphoid cell, lymphoid nodule, and in the CD20 showing in the figure B and C show the scattered LP cell that are residing within the nodule and containing a microenvironment rich in the small B lymphocyte. And <coughs> letter D showing the CD79A as well as the PAX5 of in figure E and OCT2 is another B cell marker that is expressed in nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, they usually 
a nuclear stain and very bright, just like in BOP1, OCK2 and BOP1 are so positive in nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. And CD21s defining uh, in the picture uh, letter G, the intact follicular dendritic cell meshwork within the nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma nodule. And CD3, uh, in, as depicted in letter H, show the background T cell with occasional ring formation. And <coughs> we have a very nice PD1 staining and depicted in uh, figure I, which show um, rosetting around the LP cell. Stanford study have shown six different patterns of nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma that were defined by a combination of histologic and immunophenotypic feature. So this is a schematic representation of these patterns that are summarized in the figure. So the first two patterns A and B, which show, which you can see that they are exemplified by these classic nodule. Uh, for example, in, in pattern A, classic nodule or in pattern B, serpentinous or interconnected nodule. And these, um, the key characteristic of these both A and B pattern is that uh, these LP cell predominantly reside within the confine of the small B cell rich nodule. And the next two patterns, C and D, maintain a nodular growth associated with follicular dendritic cell meshwork, although there's a significant number of extra nodular LP cells that you can see that are located outside of these nodule. And in pattern C, which is a predominant extra nodular LP, um, and pattern D, which is a T cell rich nodular pattern. And the last two pattern E and F show diffuse growth with a tumor microenvironment that is an rich in either B cell, so sorry, rich in either T cell or histiocyte. <coughs> so in the pattern E, you can see um, this nodular lymphocyte dominant Hodgkin lymphoma that looks like a diffuse T cell, rich large B cell lymphoma or DLBCL like. <coughs> and pattern F show uh, diffuse moth eaten uh, B cell rich pattern. Um, in the next picture, we can see um, this comparison of the schematic representation with the CD20 staining nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma pattern. So this um, representative CD20 stain example uh, of the six nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma pattern that highlight the number and localization of the LP cell, as well as the content and the configuration of the small B and small B cell and T cell in the microenvironment. And this is a very nice contrast. So this kind of shows the diagnostic boundaries surrounding the nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. If you look at uh, figure A, B, C, and D, this, this is a T cell histiocyte rich large B cell lymphoma. It's showing the diffuse growth pattern and you can see the scattered LP cell and there's no, uh, if you look at the CD21 staining on the letter C, uh, figure C, you can see that it's an absence of follicular dendritic cell matchwork. And <coughs> figure D is showing the PD1 staining. And if you look at figure E through H, you can see the nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma mimic of the lymphocyte rich classic Hodgkin lymphoma. So this letter E through H is a uh, lymphocyte rich classic Hodgkin lymphoma that is mimicking the nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. They are expressing CD20 and also expressing CD30 with the dim PAX5 and EVV positive in these LP cells. So it's very hard to tell sometime with nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma with lymphocyte rich classic Hodgkin lymphoma, which is the, cl the closest differential diagnosis for nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. <coughs> and if you look at the figure I through L, you can appreciate these PTGC, progressive transformation of the germinal center, which showed the evolution of the IgD positive mental, zo mental zone B cell, which is uh, shown in figure J. And they are associated with CD21, positive follicular cell meshwork, 
And also we can see PD-1 positive T cell in the affected nodule. This is the cytologic diagnosis of nodule lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. So if you look at letter A and B, you have the Reich EM sustain of the touch prep, uh, which showing the this LP cell in the background of small lymphoid cell and occasionally inflammatory cell. If you look at uh, figure C, we have a HNE stain section of a core needle biopsy that does not readily reveal any nodular architecture. And D is highlighting very nice CD21 stain um, showing the follicular nitric cell matchwork and confirm the presence of the nodule. So it's very good for nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. And the stain to support is an OC2 staining that's a very bright staining. So it favor the nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma and then we have PD-1 positive rosetting that support the overall diagnosis of nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma.